Once there was a man who was married to a lady called Elvira. And Elvira had a golden arm. It was solid, shining gold. It ran from her shoulder right down to her fingers. Elvira was very proud of her golden arm, so proud that before she went to sleep at night, she would say to her husband, if I happen to die, promise me you'll bury me with my golden arm. And he always said he would. Night after night, she would ask him, and night after night, he would promise. And one night, Elvira died. And the husband buried her just as he had promised, with her golden arm. And life went on for the husband. He was lonely, naturally. He had his work on the farm, he had his friends, but things weren't the same. He couldn't seem to pay attention to his work. And things went from bad to worse. And little by little, he sold the farm animals, then the carts, then the barn. And lying in bed one night, he began to think about Elvira and her golden arm. He thought about what he could do with all that gold. And it seemed a shame that Elvira's arm was buried deep in the ground. And the more he thought, the more he had to have that arm. But he had promised Elvira. And yet, he needed the gold in her golden arm. At midnight, he got out of bed, dressed in his warmest clothes because it was bitter cold outside. He took his lantern and a shovel. There was no moon, and he walked in the black night to Elvira's grave, the lantern shining on the road in front of him, making shadows that half scared the man to death. And if he didn't want that golden arm so badly, he would have turned around and gone home where it was safe and warm. He came to Elvira's grave. The ground was hard because of the cold, but he dug and he dug. The hole got deeper and deeper. The night became colder and colder. And he finally reached Elvira's coffin. He opened the coffin, reached in, and took the golden arm. He covered up the coffin and fixed the earth around the grave so that no one would know what had been done. It began to snow and hail, and the wind got louder and louder as the man started back for home with the golden arm under his coat. He lit a fire, warmed himself, and looked around for some place to hide the golden arm. The only place that was safe, he thought, was under the covers of his bed. He jumped into bed and tried to keep warm, but the golden arm was cold, very cold, and the man shivered and shook. He tried to sleep, but somehow he couldn't. He tried to close his eyes, but he was afraid to keep them shut. He didn't know why. Maybe it was the wind that was keeping him awake, because it got louder and louder, and then... in the wind. It was calling, where is my golden arm? Imagination, the man thought. It had to be because it couldn't be anything else. But he pulled the covers over his head. He didn't want to hear the sound, or was it a voice? What was it saying? Where is my golden arm? He got out of bed to make sure. He looked out towards the road. He could hardly see it from his window. It was so dark out. But the wind carried a voice saying, Where is my golden arm? 
He went to the door to listen, to be sure. And he heard it. Where is my golden arm? And he looked into the cellar, and the voice called to him, Where is my golden arm? And the man shook and shivered, and to be safe, he went back to bed, and he still heard the voice coming from all around him, from the windows, under the door, under the bed, from the closet, and it cried and called and howled, Where is my golden arm? And then... He saw it. Where is my golden arm? At the foot of his bed. And it jumped right at him. You've got it. They say that whenever the wind howls late at night, that it's Elvira coming to find her golden arm. Do you have it? <laughs>